Good morning to everyone. Okay. Uh, is the slide is visible or dim? Visible. Visible. Okay. Thank you. So today I'm going to start application of uh, differential equation uh, in circuit theory. So today I expect an answer from your side because uh, uh, I think you know uh, basic things in uh, LCR circuits. Especially I, I am expecting the answer from uh, circuit theory students, uh, ECE, Triple E, and E and I students. Okay, so now uh, just I am going to. Uh, I think in the matrix theory itself, the last semester application of for matrix theory. I think uh, um, uh, I, I taught uh, to my students uh, basic uh, basic uh, in electric circuits. Maybe Aditya, Jaya, Christy, Jaya, are you here? Okay. Uh, okay, but anyway, I need to uh, recall those ideas here. Okay, consider here uh, LCR series circuit shown in this uh, diagram. Okay, containing uh, uh, inductor, resistance, and a capacitance. Okay, the current in a uh, circuit after a after a switch is closed. Okay, is denoted by I of T and the charge on a capacitor at time T is denoted by Q of T. So, and then L or C are known as inductance, resistance and capacitance. And using Kirchhoff uh, second law, the impressed voltage E of T on a closed loop must be equal to the sum of the voltage drop across the loop. In the uh, uh, voltage drop in the loop. Okay, so in figure of 1.34b, so so this is 1.43b. Okay, shows the symbols and the formulas for respective voltage drop across an inductance. Voltage drop across the inductance is L into dA by dt. Okay, and the voltage drop across the resistance is uh, I into R. Okay, and the voltage drop across the capacitance is uh, Q by C. It is given here, L into dA by dt. But uh, using the relationship between I and the Q, so what is the relationship between I and the Q? I equal to dQ by dt, or Q equal to integral I dt. Okay, uh, using the relationship between I equal to dQ by dt, we have uh, L into dA by dt, you can write, uh, L into d square q by dt square. Similarly, I r equal to I into uh, sorry r into I is what dq by dt. And it, this is q by c. Okay, now okay, I will write here. So using Kirchhoff law, you can write here uh, L into uh, di by dt plus I R plus Q by C equal to E of T. Okay, now using Kirchhoff law, we have this result from the relation uh, using the relation I equal I equal to dQ by dt. From from this equation, we will get this equation. Okay, now. I think uh, in this slide also, uh, what we discussed in the previous slide, it is uh, here. Uh, the voltage drop across the resistance E equal to IR. And uh, similarly, across the inductance, L into dA by dt, across the capacitance is Q by C. The relationship between I and Q, I equal to dQ by dt, or Q equal to integral I dt. And uh, Kirchhoff law. 
the algebraic sum of voltage uh, drops across the elements of closed circuits okay is equal to the applied uh, voltage in the circuit so using this uh, we have this result so l into di by dt plus ir plus q by c equal to e so next uh, uh, if you differentiate the equation 1 with respect to t sorry if you differentiate the equation 1 with respect to t you will get l into d square uh, d square i by dt square plus uh, uh, r into uh, di by dt plus 1 by c into uh, dq by dt equal to de by dt so if you differentiate the equation 1 with respect to t you have this equation and from here to here uh, from here to here i just uh, I just replace dq by dt equal to i so everything in terms of i here yeah, because here i here i here have q i want i i need everything in terms of i that's why i will replace dq by dt equal to i so this is equation number two okay so now uh, using the relation i equal to dq by dt in one so in one replace i equal to dq by dt we, you will get equation number three you get equation number three please check it okay now uh, this is the conclusion part uh, for an inductive circuit that is uh, a circuit containing resistance and inductance only thus uh, the current i is given by the equation l into di by dt plus i r equal to e you got this one from equation one that is in the previous page similarly for the capacitor uh, suppose the circuit containing resistance and the capacitance only okay well, then the current i is given by the following equation so this this you got from equation two equation 2 is uh, this equation okay this is equation number 2 this is equation 3 so the, uh, the circuit containing resistance and capacitance okay r into di by dt uh, plus i by c equal to di by dt similarly uh, a circuit containing a capacitance and a resistance so you got from equation 3 uh, 3 uh, r into dq by dt plus q by c equal to e so you should remember these three results now we we'll go to the problems the first problem is uh, uh, write a differential equation of a circuit containing a resistance r and the inductance l in series uh, with an impressed voltage E, hence solve the same. So, I need a differential equation. Uh, okay. So, so anyone of them tell? So, I don't know who is from. Uh, E C E triple E and I, okay. So at least any one of them try. What about uh, Siva Shravana? Siva Shravana. Okay, anybody. Sorry, L into D I by D T. Hmm. Plus, 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 plus Q by C equal to E. Uh, L into DI by DT, correct. Plus IR. Plus, plus IR. Plus IR, yes, correct. L into DI by DT plus IR. Very good. Uh, plus IR equal to E. Okay. Now, uh, throw out a divide by L. So, di by dt plus r by L into i 
equal to e by l so this is a differential a linear differential equation in i so this is linear differential equation in i okay so solution of this differential equation is solution of this uh, differential equation is uh, i into e power integral r by l into uh, dt equal to integral e by l into e power uh, r by l into t okay wow into dt plus uh, c okay uh, because uh, if this is q right hand side it's a constant into e power uh, inter okay, integral misprint uh, integral r by l uh, dt okay r by l uh, dt into dt plus c okay now this is i into e power uh, if you integrate this you get what r t by L okay, so E by L integral E power R T by L into D T plus C. Okay, now uh, if you integrate, okay, now next you need to integrate E power R T by L. Okay, I'll write in the next page. So I into uh, left hand side is what i into e power r t by l okay uh, right hand side is e by l is a constant okay e power r t by l i don't need the integration now integrate e power r t by l divided by r by l plus c so l l gets cancelled okay so throughout to divide by e power r t by l you will get i equal to e by r l l get, gets cancelled if i divide throughout by e power r t by l e power r t by l gets cancelled plus uh, c divided by e power uh, r t by l or you can write e power minus r t by l so this is the solution this is the solution okay so now i will take the name list it is better then i can easily identify who is coming from triple e group okay wow. Mechatronics, computer science. I think uh, the section there is no easy to please students. Ah, okay. So next option. Okay. So then. Second problem. So the current I, the current I in an electrical circuit uh, containing an inductance L, okay, containing an inductance L and the resistance R uh, in series and uh, acted on a uh, acted on a uh, periodic electromotive force E sin omega t 
satisfies the equation L into di by dt plus uh, plus R i equal to E sin omega t. Find the value of current i at any time t if uh, initially there is uh, no current in the circuit. So in this problem, uh, the differential equation is given. Okay, so you need to find the value of the current i at any time t. Okay, you should find the current i at any time t. So if you know how to do it, you can try. Okay, if you got the answer, you can tell. Okay, try. So the given equation is uh, L into di by dt plus ri equal to e sin omega t. So if you divide by L, so di by dt plus r by L into i equal to e by L into sin omega t. Okay. Now, again, this is the linear differential equation in I. So, the solution is I into e power integral integral R L dt equal to uh, integral uh, q. q is what? e by L into sin omega t into e power integrated e power integral uh, pdx pdt p is what r by l into dt uh, into dt plus c so now so now let what is the left hand side i into e power r t by l so this is the left hand side right hand side is e by l into uh, e by l is a constant so this is what e power r t by l into sin omega t into dt plus c okay well, so up to this step you can do it now uh, i am going to ask a, a small question on integration what is the integration of e power ax into sin dx i think you may be studied this one in the 11th standard integration okay well, 11th standard integration I think in the 11th standard or 12th, I don't know exactly. I am okay. So just recall and then tell. So this is open to everyone. Actually, using by parts only uh, you, you use here, but uh, uh, but derivation is also there in your book. Maybe okay. Suppose if you were teacher, uh, I don't know whether uh, I think at least Andhra Pradesh students studied this one. So anybody, Manikandan. Say no idea. No idea. So Aditya, e power a, divided by ah, a square plus b square. Ah, what is this? Tell us. Ah, tell us. E power. E power a x divided by ah, a square good. plus b square. Very good. Ah. Into a a sine b x minus b cos. Ah, a sine b x minus ah b b cos b. Ah, where you studied this one? Sir, in the eleventh grade. 11th level. 11th level. Now, okay. Yes. So that's why I am. Okay. So, okay. 
ஸோ சில ஸ்கூலில் வந்துட்டு டேரெக்டாக டென்த் முடிச்சுன்னா டுவெல்த் போயிடுவாங்க ஓகேவா அந்த மாதிரி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு சான்சஸ் இல்லை ஓகேவா ஸோ அதனால் வந்துட்டு லெவன்த்து படித்த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸு கண்டிப்பாக நாம் இருக்கணும் சிமிலர்லி ப்ளீஸ் சர்ச் இன்டகரல் இ பவர் ஏஎக்ஸ் இன்ட்டு காஸ் பிஎக்ஸ் டிஎஸ் டிஎக்ஸ் ஆல்சோ அதர்வைஸ் யூ கேன் செக் இன் த நெட் ஆல்சோ சப்போஸ் யூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் லெவன்த் புக் செக் இன் த இன்டர்நெட் வாட் இஸ் த ரிசல்ட் ஃபார் இ பவர் ஏஎக்ஸ் இன்ட்டு காஸ் பிஎக்ஸ் தீஸ் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரிசல்ட் யூ வில் யூஸ் ஓகே இந்த தேர்டு தேர்ட் செமஸ்டர் ஓகேவா தேர்ட் செமஸ்டர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் யூனிட் இஸ் லேப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஸோ லேப்லஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் So everything is uh, Laplace transform integration. So you need these types of results. So please remember, okay, these results. Okay. Now I am going to use this result here. Here A equal to A equal to R by L. R by L. B equal to omega. B equal to omega. Okay. Now, left hand side i into e power rt by l equal to e by l. Okay. So, e power a, a is r by l into t divided by a square plus b square. Okay. r square divided by l square plus uh, omega square into a, a is r by l. is uh, r by l it is sin b b is uh, omega t minus b omega cos uh, b is omega t okay plus uh, c plus c now remaining part is a uh, simplifications remaining part is simplification uh, e by l e by l Okay, e power rt by l. Take l square is LCM. r square plus omega square into l square. Okay. So, r into sin omega t minus l omega. Take l is LCM. l omega uh, cos omega t. by l plus c okay i think here i missed l square okay after taking a, so here have uh, l here have l so l square l square gets cancelled so i write in the next page left hand side is what i into e power r t by l so is equal to is equal to okay e by l e by l uh, e power r t by l uh, divided by r square plus uh, l square omega square okay uh, remaining is what Remaining is R into sin omega t minus omega L into cos omega t. Okay, plus C. I think I write everything. Uh, I think uh, I don't write here L because uh, L square L square gets cancelled. So, should write only e okay now throw out to divide by e power rt by l because i need i in terms of t so e by r square plus uh, l square omega square okay to r sin omega t minus uh, omega l cos omega t plus c uh, divided by e power rt by l or e power minus rt by l. So, 
so so this is the uh, required answer i the current i in terms of t so now what is the initial condition is given the question uh, if initially there is no current that means t equal to 0 i equal to 0 so when t equal to 0 i equal to 0 so using this condition we have uh, 0 equal to e by r square plus l square omega square so this is a 0 this is 1 so minus omega l 0 minus omega l plus c so this implies a c equal to uh, l omega e divided by r square plus l square omega square this is the c now substitute the value of c in equation one so not this equation uh, this equation substitute the value of c here so one implies i equal to uh, okay so i will write again please check it e by e by r square plus l square omega square into r sin omega t minus omega l cos omega t okay plus c c into e power minus r t by l c is uh, just now we got it l omega e by r square plus l square omega square into e power minus r t by l okay so now uh, i am going to simplify further little bit okay so for this i am going to take commonly i am going to take e by uh, root of r square plus l square omega square so you may ask to me so even you can take r square l square omega square why we are i am taking root maybe for that question the answer maybe you will get it within two steps okay so r by uh, root of r square plus l square omega square into sin omega t minus l omega by uh, root of r square r square plus l square omega square into cos omega t okay plus okay this is common okay for everything the numerator is uh, l omega i think i take e commonly divided by root of r square plus l square omega square into e power minus r t divided by l so i took this is common now the right angle triangle i'll take so this is 90 degree this is 5 this is the side is l omega this is r this is root of uh, r square plus l square omega square so now uh, what is r divided by uh, root of r square plus l square omega square
and a new until e by root of r square plus l square omega square. What is r divided by root of r square plus l square omega square from the right angle triangle? Cos phi. Yeah, cos phi. Subramanian. Okay. Cos phi. Into sine omega t. Okay. And then L omega divided by root of r square plus l square omega square is sine phi. Okay. Yeah. Minus sine phi into cos omega t. Okay, and then uh, remaining you have what plus again L phi L, L omega. So L omega divided by root of R square plus L omega square is plus sine phi into e power minus R T divided by L. Okay. So this term is uh, with the previous equation. Okay, don't confuse with. That's why I'll write one by one here like this. Now uh, this is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So so you can write sine of a minus b. The first two terms I will write in the next page. I equal to e divided by Uh, root of r square plus l square omega square into sine of uh, a minus b. a is uh, omega omega t minus phi omega t minus phi plus sine phi into t power minus r t E power minus R T divided by L. I think this is enough. So this is a little bit a simplified form. So that's why I will write up to this step. So look at this uh, circuit, and uh, and uh, any one of them tell what is the differential equation. So I am expecting one problem from like. One problem like this in the CA. Okay, just they will give the circuit only. So they don't give the equation. So, so you should be very familiar with uh, these types of problem. Okay, so you should practice at least one or two problems like this. So who is ready to tell the mathematical equation? Two into d a by d t. Uh, first. What is your name, sir? Lakshmi Narayan. Lakshmi Narayan. Okay, good. Ah, okay. First, general solution. Okay, wa. L into L into D I by D T. Ah, okay. I will write here. Okay, L into D I by D T. Ah, plus I R. Plus I R. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Ah, plus Q by C equal to E. Okay, Q by C equal to E. Okay, okay. Uh, but uh, here, what is given? Ah, uh, okay. I think uh, you are right. You are right. But uh, it is better to take everything in terms of Q. Okay, wa. So I think you know the relationship between I and Q. D squared equal... Q by D T squared. Ah, okay. This is the one. Okay, yeah. So L into d square q by dt square plus i in i is what dq by dt. So R into dq by dt plus q by c equal to d. Okay. So it's, it is correct. This is correct. 
but yes, it is sir. better it is better to write like this okay so okay good okay thank you dikshita and then uh dq by dt of 0 equal to 0 and q of 0 equal to 0.1 that is also given the question so first you should write uh, here it is better to write the mathematical equation of the circuit okay you should write the mathematical equation of the circuit now dot diagram here dot okay then so l into d square q by dt square plus r into dq by dt plus q by c equal to v okay so now substitute l equal to 2 2 to and right jagannathana jagannathan c L into d square q by d t square plus r r is four into d q by d t plus uh, q by c c is one okay so just write q equal to uh, what is uh, v v is given sin t a Okay, same. Now uh, you can write this is d square by dt square is uh, d square. So two d square plus four d plus one into q equal to sine t. So this is uh, you can write. Like this, where d square equal to uh, d square by d t square. Okay. Now write the auxiliary equation. So auxiliary equation is two m square plus four m plus one equal to zero. Okay, so I don't divide by two. The reason is uh, if I divide by two here, how one by two? Okay, that's why I just keep as it is. Okay, so m equal to what is the solution for the two roots minus b plus r minus r root of b square. B square is sixteen minus four a c is eight by two a. Two a is four. Okay, so this is equal to minus four plus or minus root eight a root eight divided by four, so minus four plus or minus root eight is four root two or two root two divided by uh, four. This one you can write uh, minus one plus or minus. One by root two divided by four. Okay, so now take LCM minus root two plus one divided by root two and comma and then one more root is uh, minus root two plus one. Sorry, minus one divided by root two. Okay. Or you can write this is one uh, minus root two by root two, and uh, minus one minus root two by root. So this is alpha. Take this is alpha. This is beta. So this is alpha. This is beta. So the roots are real and distinct. The complementary function is. The complementary function is C of is C one into e power alpha t plus C two into e power beta t. Okay, now particular integral. So one by 
2d square plus 4d plus 1. Okay, right hand side function is sin t. So now this is uh, type 2. So replace d square by minus 1 square. So 1 divided by 2 into minus 1 square plus 4d plus 1 into sin d. So which is equal to 1 by 4d minus 2 plus 1, so minus 1 into 4d plus 1 divided by 4d plus 1. Okay, into sin d. Okay, so this is equal to on the numerator you have 4d plus 1, the denominator you have 16d square minus 1 into sin t. So again replace d square by minus 1, so minus 16 minus 1, so minus uh, 4d plus 1, 4d plus 1 divided by minus 17, right hand side is uh, sin t of sin t, which is equal to minus 1 by 17 into, or if you differentiate uh, t, you will get 4 cos t plus sin t, plus sin t, this is your pi. So now uh, your solution, you are solving for, you are solving for Q, or Q of T, okay, well, therefore Q of T equal to Pi, uh, Cf is what, C1 into e power alpha T plus C2 into e power beta T and the Pi is minus 1 by 17 into 4 cos T plus sin t. Okay, so now, so up to this is uh, nearly 80 percent of your problem is over. So Q, the charge in terms of T. So we got it. And uh, here it is given Q of 0 equal to 0 0.1 and DQ by, DQ by DT of 0 equal to uh, I, I, here it is Q, it is I, I equal to DQ by DT. Okay. Uh, first, I will write this condition. Sir. Uh, yeah, please. Then. Sir, in the PA uh, denominator. Uh, let me write, break our voice. 4D plus 3 or 4D minus 1, sir. Uh, here. Uh. Sir, uh, in the particular integral, denominator 4D plus 3 or 4D minus 1, sir. Yes, Actually, sir. yeah, here it is uh, 4D, okay, uh, okay, this is minus 2, plus 1, one. so 4D minus 1. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, so, uh, so maybe, maybe you will done like this, if you done D square equal to minus 1 whole square, then D square equal to 1, so th then 2 plus 3, so 4d plus 3. So I already I told that this is wrong. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, it's a reasonable question. And then, so what is the initial condition? Q of 0 equal to 0. So what is given here? Q of 0 equal to 0 0.1. So when t equal to 0, q equal to 0 0.1. Apply into so 0 0.1 uh, c1 into e power 0 1 plus uh, c2 minus 1 by 17 into uh, this is 1. So 4 by 17 uh, or into 4. 4 plus 0. Okay. So C1 plus C2 okay, equal to uh, 0 0.1 plus 4 by 17. 
So using calculator, uh, please tell what is the right hand side value. Cal zero point double three five three. So what is your name? Newcomer. Sir Alitya. Alitya. Where you went? Last one month. Okay. I think last semester you are very active, but uh, not uh, this semester. Silently you are watching. Okay. Okay. So C1 plus C2 equal to 0 0.3353. So this is equation 3. Okay. So now uh, next condition. Okay. Next condition is uh, dq by dt. Okay. dq by dt. For this I am going to differentiate equation 2 with respect to t. So differentiate equation to with respect to t okay so dq by dt equal to uh, if you differentiate this you'll get the c1 into alpha into e power alpha t c1 into alpha into e power alpha t plus uh, c2 into beta into e power beta t okay and then sorry and then uh, if you differentiate this minus 1 by 17 minus 1 by 17 into minus 4 sin t plus cos t so please check it okay now the condition is given condition is uh, eq by dt of 0 equal to 0 okay so this implies eq by dt equal to 0 then t equal to 0 I am going to apply this condition in this equation. So left hand side is 0 dq by dt. So c1 into alpha plus c2 into beta and uh, this is 0. Here it is uh, 1. So minus sign. So minus 1 by 17. So c1 alpha plus c2 beta equal to 1 by 17. What is 1 by 17 the calculator? Because there also I used a uh, decimal. So that's why I need a 0 0.058. Uh, 0 0.058 is correct. Thank you. Uh, I call this is equation 4. Equation 4. So now I leave it to you. Uh, okay, I'll write again uh, the previous equation. What is the previous equation? Uh, C1, okay. Uh, what is the previous equation? C1 plus C2, ah, okay. <coughs> C1 plus C2 equal to uh, 0 0.3353. So, this is uh, equation uh, 3. <coughs> so, I leave it to you. So you should solve these two equations uh, and find the find the value of C1 and, and C2. Alpha and beta value you know. Okay. Wa? Alpha beta value you know here. This is alpha 1 minus root 2 divided by root 2 and beta is minus 1 minus root 2 by root 2. So please uh, post in the group. So once you got the values of C1 and C2, okay and substitute the values of c1 and the c2 uh, equation number 2 in equation number 2 you should substitute c1 and the c2 so it is just a calculation so i don't want to spend the time here so i'll go to the next one okay. so now yeah please tell the c1 c2 the answer c1 c2 nane podala adanaladhan ungalukku anupichu solren 
Okay, yeah. so it's actually I got it. That's why I want to. Okay, see. please tell. Okay, we'll we'll check it. Minus point zero six seven. It is only for me. For me. For me. For me. Got it. C one equal to minus point zero six seven. Zero point six zero seven. Ah. Zero six seven. Zero six seven. Okay. Ah, uh, C two. C two zero point one nine one. One nine one nine. Yes. Okay. Uh, so please, uh, uh, remaining students, should we check it whether this is correct. It will satisfy the second, third equation. Check me, lama. Direct away. Add. Yeah, and and point. Please wait. Please wait. First, I will check this one. Uh, point uh, zero six seven. Uh, it does not satisfy second, third equation. Cut again. So, okay, sir. Check it. Okay. No problem. So that's why you should sir, do a little bit carefully. Sir, I got C one zero point four six three five. C one na subram insal ba. C one zero point four six three five. Four six three five. Ah. C two minus zero point one two eight. One two eight. Okay. Just I will check the second equation. This I think it is working correctly. Oh yeah. Point. Uh, Four six uh, three five minus point uh, one two eight. So I think point uh, three three five five. Uh, okay, ba. Okay, it is very near near, near to uh, equation three. And uh, only thing we should check the first equation also because alpha and beta value I shown. Okay, ba. So I think I think this is correct. The remaining students should check. Oh, again, okay. Again, once again. And uh, if there is any correction, please post in the group. So once you got the values of C1, C2, as I already told that, substitute in the equation two. Okay. Okay. Now I'll go to next problem. Nothing much time. Still we have time. Okay. In an LCR substitute, I think uh, one to two lunch or class up all of it. Class sir, one to one to two class. So maximum I will take twelve fifteen. So forty five minutes for break uh, lunch. Okay. So next problem. So I will stop with this problem. This is the last problem. Okay. Uh, in an L L uh, L R C circuit, the impressed voltage is uh, four hundred. Cross 250 T volts. Find the current in the circuit uh, when T equal to 0.001 second. If L equal to 1 Henry, R equal to 400 ohms, and C equal to 0.16 into 10 to the power of minus 4 Faraday. Okay, and the initial uh, charge and the current are zero. Okay, now. My first question is uh, whether you saw this question anywhere. You have the question. Is it ready? Okay. So think and tell. I don't want to waste my time. Now, the second question is what is the differential equation for this talk? L d square q by d t square plus. Hmm. Aditya, tell me. Ah, L. Ah, L. D square q by d t ah. square. Okay. Plus. Ah. R d q by d t. Okay. Good. Plus q by c. Okay. Is equal to e of t. Very good. Hmm. So, it is given. That is given here in LR circuit. The impressed voltage is given. Okay. Okay, and then R. Okay, R is R is given. So, and the L is also is given. R L and the C is given. Okay, and the initial charge and the current are given. Okay, initial charge and current. Is given. So you may ask why don't we write in terms of I? 
Okay, wow. so uh, I think this better way to write in terms of Q. So you can get once you got Q, okay, you can get I by just differentiating Q. You can easily get uh, I. Suppose if you get I, okay, wow. suppose if you get so to get the Q, so you need to integrate it. Okay, so that's why it is better to write like this. First, find Q. Okay. Even if they ask, even if they ask current i, first you find q, and then you, if you differentiate, you can get i. Now, what is l? Okay, uh, l is one. Okay, so d square q by dt square plus four hundred. R is four hundred. Uh, dq by dt plus uh, q by c what is a c 0 0.16 into 10 to the power of minus 4 okay is equal to e of t what is e of t 400 400 into cos 250t <coughs> okay well. so now on the next page you write um, d square q by dt square plus 400 dq by dt plus uh, so this is actually 10,000 divided by 0.16. So using calculator and tell what is the value? 10,000 divided by 0 0.6, 0 0.16. 62,500. Yes, 62,500. Okay, which is uh, into Q. Uh. Okay, into Q equal to 400. Into cos 250t. Okay. Uh, now just uh, rewrite this equation d square plus 400d plus uh, 62,500 into q equal to 400 cos. 250 okay. this is equation one so now the ancillary equation is so if anybody got the answer you can tell the final answer uh, okay the ancillary equation is m square plus 400 m plus 62500 equal to zero so this is the answer of the equation. Now m equal to minus b, so minus 400 uh, plus or minus root of b square is uh, 400 square. That is 1 lakh 60 thousand. Okay, minus uh, minus 2ab. Yeah, 2 into b square minus 4ac. 4 a c a is one c is sixty two thousand five hundred. I think two lakh fifty thousand up. Two lakh fifty thousand. Okay, uh, divided by two year. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So now this is equal to minus uh, four hundred plus r minus. So this is uh, root of minus ninety thousand divided by two. Okay, which is equal to minus 400 plus r minus i because our root of minus 1 is i into 300 divided by 2 if you divide by 2 you get uh, minus 200 plus r minus i 150 alpha is minus 200 beta is 150 now the complementary function is Complementary function equal to e power minus 
200t into a cos 150t so usually we we'll use c1 c2 c1 c1 c2 c1 c2 into sin 150t so this is the complementary function particular integral what is the particular integral anybody got the particular integral 1 by 250 into uh, sin 250t 1 by 250 into sin 250t yes correct dikshan so now pi is uh, pi is uh, uh, d square plus 400d plus 62500 this is actually uh, okay i need to find the p what is the right hand side uh, for 400 into cos 250 okay now here i should replace uh, d square by minus uh, a square minus uh, 250 square okay so 1 so 400 400 into into what i square no okay 1 by uh, And d square is uh, minus sixty-two thousand five hundred plus four hundred d plus sixty-two thousand five hundred into cos two fifty. So minus plus gets cancelled. So here have four hundred. Here have four hundred. Gets cancelled. So one by d into Cos 250. So you get if you integrate this, you get uh, a sine 250 divided by uh, sine 250 t in this point. Uh, t t and also t so 250. Okay. Now this is your pi. Now, sir. Ah, please tell. Sir, his final answer is 0.3 ampere. Ah, zero point three two two five ampere. Yes, correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, very good. Okay. So now, in the name, ask the P A. Yeah. Okay. So we are solving for Q. Okay, wah. Wow. So Q or Q of t equal to uh, C F e power minus two uh, hundred t into C one into Cos 150t plus c2 into sin 150t, okay, plus 1 by 250 into sin 250t. So this is your uh, solution. I think this is equation number two. Okay, and what is given the question? Initial condition. Uh, initial initial charge is uh, uh, zero, and uh, initial current is zero. So initial charge is zero means okay, given. Okay, when t equal to zero, q equal to zero. So initial charge is zero. So now you should use this condition in equation two. Let zero equal to e power zero one. Okay. So now this is c one plus this is zero plus c. So this implies c one equal to zero. Now substitute c one equal to zero here. You get q equal to uh, e. Uh, e power minus two uh, hundred t okay wow. into c two. I will write uh, c two here. C two into e power minus two hundred t 
into sine quantity plus uh, 1 by 250 into sine 250 into t. Okay. Now, uh, so we need to differentiate uh, because what is given here, uh, initial condition is given here. The question is check the initial condition. Uh, the current the initial current is also zero. Initial current is zero. That is I equal to I equal to dq by dt. Okay, I equal to dq by dt. So which is equal to so C2 into okay. If you you keep e power minus 200 t as it is. Okay, and uh, if you differentiate sine 150 uh, t, you'll get cos 150 t, which is a t into 150 plus uh, you should keep uh, c2 into sine 150 t. Okay, you should differentiate e power minus 200 t, you get the e power minus 200 t into minus 200 plus 1 by 250 into cos 250 t into 250. So 250, 250 gets cancelled. I call this is equation number uh, 3. So I am I, not going to simplify this. The reason is uh, what is the next initial condition we need to use? Anybody? What is the next initial condition we need to use? And initially the current is 0. Equals to 0 and dq by dt equals to 0. Yeah, when t equal to 0, is correct. And d equal to, uh, dq by dt equal to 0. Uh, current is equal to i equal to 0. Okay. I equal to zero. So, so now uh, substitute uh, t equal to i when t equal to zero, i equal to zero in equation three. Okay, so I'll get zero, which is okay. Uh, here we have one fifty into c two a. One fifty into c two. Okay. And this is zero because sign term is here. Okay, and here 250, 250 gets cancelled. This is uh, cos zero one. Okay, plus one. So this implies C two equal to minus one by one fifty. Okay, we got C one and C two. Uh, substitute the value of uh, C two. Uh, in this equation. Okay, I did one that one three much enough. 3, this is 4, this is 4, okay, and the 3 implies, equation 3 implies, okay, now substitute the value of C2 here, okay, substitute the value of C, and the, we need a Q or E, yeah. question mark. Find the current i. Okay, or current i. So, so it is better to directly find i. Okay, or there is no need to find i because here you can substitute in this equation itself. You can substitute C2. Okay, directly you can get the current i. So once you substitute here, next uh, you need to differentiate again. So differentiation means again you need to uh, get the same thing. So uh, instead of three. I will choose 4, okay, 4, so I equal to, I need current, so I equal to uh, dq by dt equal to, okay, uh, c2, c2 is minus 150, sorry, c2 is uh, minus uh, 1 by 150, 
okay and then here you have 150 so i will write 150 into t power minus 200 t into cos 150 t 200 t into cos 150 t next term is uh, minus uh, 200 but the c2 is minus uh, 1 by 150 so minus into minus plus so 200 uh, divided by 150 into t power minus 200 t so please check it into sine 150 t 150 t and the last term is 250 250 gets cancelled cos uh, 250 T. So now I equal to first I will write this term 4 by 4 by 3 t power minus 200 t into sine 150 t minus this is 1 e power minus uh, 200 t into cos 150 t plus cos uh, 250t. I call this is equation 5. So now uh, we need to find one more thing. So what we need to find? Anyone tell? Current at uh, t is equal to 0 0.002. Yeah, current at uh, t equal to uh, 0 0.001 that is asked in the question okay correct so 4 by 3 into e power minus 200 into sorry directly multiply okay so 200 by 1000 that is 0 0.02 into uh, 150 divided by 1000 is uh, 0 0.15 minus e power minus 0 0.2 cos 0 0.15 and plus cos 0 0.25 so i think already aditya told the answer so please verify i am also getting 0.3225 ampere and i asked the first question for this problem so whether you see whether you seen this problem already uh, for this question i don't get the answer so please uh, check your assignment number two that is the previous year ca question paper i think i saw that similar type of question so that's why uh, i told that so please check it and if it is the same question okay there is no I think if we, even it is the same question, you, you can practice one more time. Uh, if it is not the same question, a little bit different, then you can try that question. Okay, thank you. We'll meet again Monday. Uh, Monday, maybe I will take first hour. I will inform you through also. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.